Hi, my name is Tim. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an IFC or integrated furnace control on a gas furnace. Now to begin with, as in every service call, we need to make sure the thermostat's calling for heat. So let's click the system selector switch to the heat position. This will also turn up the temperature setting above the room temperature. Now you're going to need to go to the procedure guide after each step. So we're going to click OK up here. Next, we're going to remove the furnace cover and click OK. However, when you do this, you're going to open the contacts of this door interlock switch right here at the bottom right of the screen, and it's going to break power to the furnace. So in order to establish power supply to the furnace, we're going to need to tape that door switch in. So click on this little orange rectangle, and that'll put a piece of tape over the door switch and ensure that power is being received at the furnace. Click OK on the procedure guide, and next we're going to take a brief inventory of what's running. Well, to start with the inducer, that's the first load that should come on when the thermostat calls for heat. And the inducer's running, so we can click OK on the procedure guide that it is running. Next, we're going to need to reboot the system. If the furnace cycles off on a safety switch or fails to prove ignition, it will typically lock out after three attempts. So we're going to need to turn the power off and back on and, and be ready to observe what's happening at that point. So click on the service switch, click reboot on the menu, and then click OK on the procedure guide. Now we want to see if the hot surface igniter is glowing or not. And based on this, it's not glowing. We can see the igniter back here in the back of the burner, and there's no glow coming from it. This thing will glow at about 2600 degrees, so there'd be an obvious orange glow here. So we're going to click no, it's not glowing. Now our next step is to verify that the pressure switch is closed, proving safe airflow. So we're going to place our leads across the pressure switch connections to make sure that it's closed. If the pressure switch fails to close, the integrated furnace control or IFC will not even attempt ignition. So let's verify this is closed first. And when we do that, we got zero volts across it, which verifies that in fact the pressure switch did close. So click zero volts on the procedure guide. Now our next step is to verify that we're getting 120 volts to the hot surface igniter. So we're going to take our voltmeter and we're going to place the leads at this Molex connection right here going to the igniter. And when we do that, we see we have zero volts here, which means that we do not have power going to the igniter. So the igniter is not our fault. Now the igniter is powered out of the IFC or integrated furnace control. I'm going to click no on the procedure guide here, but before I do that, I want to pull out the wiring diagram and just show you a convenient way to bridge uh, your knowledge between the actual system components and the wiring diagram. If you take a look at the wiring diagram, we can see the placement of our leads across the high surface igniter. Uh, so if you're unclear about where you're placing your leads on the system itself, you can always review the wiring diagram to ensure that your leads are placed properly or to clear up any confusion. So I'll store the wiring diagram temporarily. Now what this means is that the IFC is not supplying power to the igniter and it's most likely the IFC that's at fault. Now you could have a loose connection possibly as well. Now after inspecting for loose connections, we're gonna replace the IFC. But I just wanna to mention to you that the IFC is really the brain of the furnace and it controls multiple functions and multiple components. So it's possible that the entire IFC could fail or it's possible like in this case, where it's just failing an individual function, meaning it's not supplying power to the hot surface igniter. So to replace it, simply click on it, click replace, and that solves our problem. Now don't forget to observe one full burner cycle to make sure everything's working properly and go up to the residence, ensure that heat is being received through the registers into the house. And we can do this by just looking at the floor register here and we can see from the red graphic that hot air is actually coming out of the registers. Well, good luck on all your future service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Do you wanna try 3D simulations and VR HVAC training yourself? then visit interplaylearning.com to start a free trial today.